Hi, my family and friends. Welcome to the Wisconsin Athletic Club's Move at Home series. I'm Jess Kieser from WAC Downtown, and today I will be leading you in a 30-minute yoga light club. Um, we'll be using the chair as a prop, um, and so you can have your yoga mat and your chair, and then always some water nearby. To get started, we will begin in standing. Um, we'll stand behind the chair, We'll be using the chair for every single posture today. So to begin, we'll begin um, stretching the arms. So inhale your arm up, exhale over to the side, inhale, reach up, and exhale over. Inhale, bring the arm up, exhale over. Inhale up, and exhale over. Last time, inhale, arm up, and exhale over. Then you can come to the back of your chair, and we will stretch out the arms a little bit more as part of our warm up. So holding on to your chair so that your hips stay facing forward. Inhale, open for a twist. Exhale, bring your arm back to the chair. Inhale, open. Exhale, bring your hand back. Two more. Inhale, open. Exhale, bring your arm back. Inhale, open. Exhale, back. Last one on each side. Inhale, open. Exhale, bring your arm back. And one more. And exhale. Really similar motion is next. Instead of opening up making a big circle. This time, just reaching out to the side as you inhale, rotating. Exhale, bring your arm back. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, bring the arm back. Two more on each side. Inhale, open. Exhale, back. Inhale, open. Exhale, back. One more on each side. Inhale as you open. Exhale, bring the hand back, and inhale, open. Exhale, return to the chair. We're gonna move the chair just slightly for the rest of our flow. So we're gonna begin in forward fold, um, which will be very similar to downward facing dog. So um, downward facing dog and forward fold are basically gonna be the same in this a modified chair vinyasa. So to begin, inhale your arms up, exhale, find a forward fold. So hands go to the chair, hips go backwards, drop your head down, and take three breaths here. So inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Inhale for halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Moving into plank. Stepping your feet back. Trying your best to keep your body as straight as you can. Hold here for three breaths. Drawing the abdominals up and in. Pressing through your toes. Locking the shoulders down. Then from here, Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. So lower down like you're doing a push-up. Inhale for upward facing dog. Working on those triceps. And exhale back into our downward facing dog, which is also our forward fold. So dropping the head, take three breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time, and inhale, and exhale. Let's do that one more time together. So inhale for halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Bring yourself into plank, exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Bend the elbows, inhale for upward facing dog, working on those triceps. Exhale back into our modified downward facing dog. Again, let's take three more breaths here. 
inhale and exhale inhale and exhale one more breath inhale and exhale all right so moving into a three-legged dog so in your plank just take your right leg back you're in your three-legged dog. You can drop your, leg up, your head down. You can stretch here. You can kind of move your foot and ankle and knee around. Just find that nice three-legged dog stretch. And then bring your right leg forward onto your chair. You can bring your left foot up a little bit. We're gonna do modified warrior one. So root down through your left heel, turn the left foot slightly out to the side. Modified warrior one, as you press down through your right heel, push the hips forward, press that left heel back, take two more breaths, inhale, and exhale. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Moving into pure pyramid pose, taking your hips back, walking your foot a little more forward, and you're stretching out the back of your hamstrings. Avoid rounding through your spine. You might have to bend your knee a little bit as you pull your hip back. Keep the heart reaching forward. And let's take three more breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Bend your right knee, find modified high lunge. And then inhale, right arm up for a twist. Exhale, bring your right arm down. Step your right foot back into plank. Hold for three breaths. Again, drawing the abdominals up and in, pushing the chair away, rooting down through those feet. And exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Lower yourself down. Inhale from your upward facing dog and exhale back to our modified downward facing dog position. Take a little break here. Take a nice breath. If you'd like to grab water, feel free to grab some water. Arms good in between these postures. And we will do the same on the opposite side. So starting in that modified downward facing dog, let's just take a nice lion's breath. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. All right, finding that three-legged dog on the opposite side. So go ahead and reach your leg up, make some circles, stretch your leg out, reach up and high and back, twisting, rotating, and then when you can't stretch anymore, step your left foot forward onto your chair. You can bring your right leg along for the ride. Press that right heel down. Again, the right foot is slightly turned out at that 45 degree angle. And then root down through both of your heels as you press your hips forward. Modified warrior one, three breaths, inhale. And exhale, inhale. And exhale, one more breath, inhale, and exhale. Moving into your modified pyramid pose, pushing your hips back on the chair, away from the chair, and reaching your heart forward, lengthening through your hamstrings. Take three breaths here, inhale, and exhale, inhale, One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Bending your left knee, let's find modified high lunge. So you can have your hands on the chair, framing your left foot, and then inhale for that twist. Left arm reaches up, and exhale, left arm comes down. Step your foot back and find plank. Hold for three breaths. Inhale and exhale. 
inhale and exhale one more breath inhale and exhale lower down as you exhale inhale for your upward facing dog and exhale back to your modified downward facing dog all right Moving along, we'll run through that modified sun salutation again, and then we'll try out another vinyasa flow. So from here, inhale for halfway lift, using those glutes. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to plank, step your feet back. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, forward upward facing dog. And exhale back into downward facing dog. You can take three breaths. Again, if you'd like to grab water, feel free to grab a little water. And then we'll move on into our next flow. All right, so beginning in that modified downward facing dog, hips going backwards, stretching through your hamstrings, stretching through your shoulders, Allowing your head to hang down. Take three breaths, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Finding three-legged dog again. Lifting the right leg this time. Reaching up and around. Stretching nice and big. And then exhale, crunch your knee forward. Inhale, reach high and back. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, high and back. One more time. Exhale, crunch. And bring your foot forward into a warrior one again. So get your back heel down. Press through both of your heels. Inhale those arms up overhead. Let's take three breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Moving again into that pyramid pose. Pressing your hips back, three breaths here. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Bending your knee and sliding your back foot a little further back so that we can find a modified chair warrior two. So we're bending into our right leg, turning the back foot parallel, opening the arms for warrior two. From here, inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale back to warrior two. Again, inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Straighten out your right leg, reach your right arm down towards your right knee. Left arm comes up for a modified triangle pose. Let's take three breaths here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more breath. Inhale and exhale. Bend back into warrior two. And then bring your left foot a little closer as you find an extended side angle, taking your hand on the inside of your knee and left arm comes up and overhead. Extended side angle, three breaths, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. Last breath, inhale and exhale. Moving into lizard pose, Bringing your foot to the outside of your chair and placing your hands in the center. Just getting a nice stretch through the, through the hips here. You can kind of bend the knees and ankles, shifting your weight. And just kind of shifting side to side, stretching those hips. And then from here, we're moving into pigeon pose. So to get there, Walk your hands a little forward so that there is room for your leg on the chair. And then slide your knees slightly off. And 
and allow your foot to just hang off the chair, pushing your weight, um, pushing your hips forward, feeling the stretch through that right hip. If you have a chair like mine, you can hold on to the back and slowly lower yourself down, folding over the hips, maybe even resting your head on the chair. Taking three breaths, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Slowly bring yourself out of your pigeon. Step your foot back into plank, vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale for your upward facing dog. And exhale back into downward facing dog. Take three breaths here. Grab a water if you'd like. Relax your neck muscles. Take a nice lion's breath. Inhale. And exhale. All right, same thing on the other side. Starting with that three-legged dog modification. So taking your left leg out this time, reaching a nice big stretch. You can stretch, make those circles. Again, maybe make some circles with your knee or your ankle, whatever kind of feels good to open those hips. And then square yourself off towards your chair. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, keep your leg back. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, keep your leg back. Exhale, crunch. And step your left foot onto your chair. Finding warrior one again. Pressing your hips forward, rooting down through the heels. Three breaths, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Moving into pyramid pose, pressing your hips back. Straightening through your left leg, trying to feel the stretch in the back of your hamstring. Take three breaths, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Bend into your left knee, slide your right foot a little further back and find your warrior two modification using the chair. Trying to stay as centered as you can, um, reaching your arms in two separate directions. From here, inhale, reverse your warrior. Left arm goes up. Exhale, back to your warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Straighten your left leg on the chair and then finding modified triangle pose, reaching your right arm up, stretching through that inner thigh and hamstring on the left side. Let's take two more breaths here. Inhale and exhale. One more inhale and exhale. Find your way back into warrior two and then Reaching your left hand down towards the chair. Reach your right arm up, extended side angle. Three breaths, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Moving into your lizard pose on the chair. Again, your foot will be on the outside and your hands will be in the center. Again, you can drive your knee forward, feeling the stretch through the hips. You can take your hips slightly side to side, and then just opening those hips, getting a nice stretch. And then walk your hands more to the center or tuck to the top of your chair. Bring your left knee down, place your left knee on the chair so your foot is just hanging off and find a modified pigeon on your chair. Again, if you have a chair like mine, you can use the chair to assist you to create lift. 
and length. And then slowly walk your hands down so that you can fold over your bent leg, feeling a big stretch in the posterior or the back side of your hip, maybe in the outer lateral part of your hip as well. Maybe using that chair to relax your head. Take three more breaths. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more breath. Inhale and exhale. Go ahead and walk yourself out of the stretch. Gently bring your left leg down, finding that plank with your chair. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, bending your elbows. Inhale for your upward facing dog. And exhale back into your modified forward fold, downward facing dog. Let's take three breaths. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Last breath. Inhale and exhale. All right, moving your feet slightly wider than the mat, finding a wide-legged forward fold, pressing your hips back. You might have to bend your knees, but always press your heels down as you push your hips back, dropping your head. And you can shift side to side, finding a nice hamstring and inner thigh stretch. And then come to center, and we'll add a twist. So hips are pressing back. Inhale, open, and exhale, bring your hand back to center. Inhale, open, and exhale back to center. Walk your feet in a little bit more. We'll progress into cat camel. So inhale, looking up, arching your back down. Exhale, rounding your spine. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, round. One more, inhale, and exhale, round. Adding in a little bit more of a twist for threading the needle, reaching your right arm up as you inhale. Exhale your arm underneath your opposite arm, and repeat. Inhale, arm up, exhale, reach under, and last one, inhale up, and exhale, using your chair, reaching your arm underneath your shoulder and sitting back so you can get a really big stretch through your shoulders and maybe even twist. Let's take three breaths. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Last breath. Inhale and exhale. Same thing on the other side. Threading the needle. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, reach your left arm underneath your right. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, under. And last one, inhale up. And exhale, this time, using the chair. Reach your arm, using that chair, and turn your body so you can still twist, get a big shoulder stretch. Let's take two more breaths. Inhale and exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Bending your elbows, placing your elbows on your chair. Hands come into prayer. And just getting a nice big stretch through the armpits, stretching out your latissimus dorsi. Big stretch. Let's take three more breaths. Inhale, and exhale, inhale. Exhale, last breath, inhale, and exhale. Bringing your chair to the center, taking a seat. We'll just finish with some neck circles to loosen up our neck before we end our practice. So just taking your head and look gently upward downward and over to your shoulder, rolling and then rolling your neck back, looking from 
one side to the other. And then gently adding in a full circle of your neck. Looking up, coming down, looking up the opposite way, and coming down. Making gentle circles. It's really important to find time to stretch our necks as we're at home working on tablets and cell phones, laptops, desktops. Again, for anyone who wants a little bit more stretch with their neck, you can place one hand underneath your hip, use your opposite hand to stretch and lengthen, feeling that stretch through the side of your neck. And change, same thing on the opposite side. One more breath, inhale and exhale. To finish off the practice, I'm gonna end in a seated lotus position, just cross-legged um, on the chair. So sitting at home, if you'd like to bring your hands into a lotus mudra, bringing the thumbs and the pinkies together, forming a flower shape. As you finish off the practice in a seated meditation, I will read to you from Meditations on Intention and Being, written by Rolf Gates, um, author of Meditations from the Mat. This is day eight, becoming available. It is said that the mind screams and the heart whispers. Over time, we have lost touch with the wisdom of the heart in our efforts to manage the demands of our screaming minds. Instead of learning to listen, we have learned to numb and to filter. The sensations that get through our filters and our numbness become supersized. Fear becomes violence, desire becomes gluttony, service to one's community becomes workaholism. More is never enough. Arising out of this state of imbalance is its opposite, a study of the subtle whose end point is the heart's whisper. This study is called yoga, and we make it a beginning when we become available to what is happening right now. While sitting, we become available to the felt experience of sitting. While breathing, we become available to the felt experience of breathing. Sitting and breathing as the world wakes up, we become available to the world waking up. It's always my honor to lead the yoga practice. Thank you all for tuning in and joining. The light within me shines to the light within each of you. Be kind to yourselves, be kind to others. Namaste. Make sure you guys tune in tomorrow. We have 8 a.m. Groove with Shannon and 12 o'clock Body Pump 